everybody, what's happening? It's Sarah Bunny, and today's video is going to be on not one, not two, but three holiday DIYs, um, mostly Christmas theme, but hey, they're still really cute. These adorable things are very, very easy to make, and these toys are safe for all rabbits, guinea pigs, chinchillas, degus, gerbils, mice, rats, hamsters, other small animals, am I missing any? You name it, all safe, um, and they're all homemade, very cheap to make, very easy to make, and they look super cute in the cage. So I really hope you enjoy this video, and let's get started! So for this project, you're going to need some scissors, you'll also need some cardboard, any old box will do. I have two different types of string, but you'll only need one. And you'll also need a pencil, some hay, as well as a paper bag, uh, lunch sack will do, and let's get started. So we're starting with the snowflake. So the first thing you can do is you can trace it. Now you can just cut it out, you don't have to trace it. I just thought I would show you what the shape looked like better by tracing it. And it's basically like a bone, but with angles and not round things. I'm not very good at descriptions, but that is my interpretation of it. You can see it on the screen. So then I am going to cut it out and I actually made about five of these, I believe. Um, the longer you make them, the more you can fit onto one snowflake when you put them all together. But uh, it also looks really cool if you just have like a really tiny snowflake with a couple of them. So next, I am tying them all together. And this actually is a lot easier than it looks. Uh, it, it might look hard, but you just wind it around and tie and then just tie more string on it. You, you can't really go wrong with this. Um, also, uh, side note, I did say these are safe for hamsters. Be very, 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 very wary of string. I wouldn't use this particular DIY for hamsters um, because of the string. Just as a side note, I know I'm a rabbit person, and most of you are rabbit people. But if you do have hamsters, uh, I don't want any problems because I know there's a lot of like cheek pouch problems with that. So that is the finished product all tied together. Next is a Christmas tree cardboard standing statue to... We're going to leave it at that. So next you are going to trace it out. And again, you don't have to do this, but I just did it so you guys could get a better idea of the shape. And cut out the tree. So make sure you put that stand on. Then you're going to take that tree and trace it on the other piece of cardboard so that you can have two identical pieces. Now keep in mind you are going to have to cut inside those lines just to make sure it um, matches up a little better because otherwise this tree will be fatter because you go outside the lines when you trace. So try to cut a little bit inside the lines and then after you do that you take one of the trees, it doesn't matter which one, and cut a slit up the center of it. And don't go all the way to the top because then you'll just have a tree in half and that does not work. So then you take, uh, as you can see, I did have to cut it a little more than I did though. And so then I take the other tree and you can either cut a slit in the top or uh, what I thought I would try, which actually ended up working very well, is I took the top part of it and cut it off so you'll be able to see this in the next clip and I think it turned out really cute so last is Santa's like present bag and so basically you're just gonna start with a lunch bag and these are completely safe to chew and everything I am stuffing that with hay if you have like a hamster or something or a gerbil just stuff it with nesting material uh, or hey, it doesn't matter. Then I'm gonna put some treats in, I just put some forage, and I tied it up with a cute little bow. Again, hamsters and such, be wary of the string, just as a warning. So that is the last one. After you tie it up, that's what it looks like. Super cute. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did and you end up making these toys, then please, please, please either tag me in a post on Instagram, DM me, um, or you know, tag me on Twitter. I'd love to see them. Um, both my Instagram and Twitter accounts are 
at YT Sarah Bunny. I like to do this hand thing in most of my videos, so, um... <laughs> Anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope your rabbits, guinea pigs, chinchilla is not going to name them all again. Don't forget to comment, um, leave a comment down below, what do you think, um, do you have any suggestions, uh, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and also subscribe, hit that red button down there, uh, it, it's not that hard. Enjoy these toys, and I hope you have a really fun time making them, um, let this be the kickoff to my holiday videos, yay, and keep hopping, bye.